Next up is Ushi Diesel, who yesterday captured her second World Cup race of the season by winning the women's sprint. This was the 23rd victory of a long and successful career. Ushi is one of the most celebrated and popular athletes with the fans. On top of this, she has a special relationship with a certain school group, and it is the kind of partnership which has been cultivated for weeks as they prepare to show how they can support Ushi Diesel. Christian Dexter accompanied the school group. They were well prepared. 65th graders from Presque Isle have been working on more than just flags. In Presque Isle, just an hour's drive from Fort Kent, the main focus for weeks has been on biathlon, in the Pine Street Elementary School specifically on Ushi Diesel. We were to choose an athlete to cheer for, and we selected a German athlete, a female, Ushi Diesel. I think I pronounced that correctly. Her name is Ushi Diesel. I think I pronounced that correctly. While they were still working on their pronunciation, they had been reading for two months about what is biathlon and who is Ushi Diesel. Yesterday, at last, the big day had arrived. In three school buses, they traveled from Presque Isle to Fort Kent for an exceptional school trip. Did you know that this is the biggest sporting event ever to take place in Maine? And you are here for the first day. 1,800 school children in all will attend the World Cup. Yesterday there were 511, 60 of which came to see Ushi Diesel. Local biathlon prodigies had visited the students in their classrooms to help make this new sport more understandable. And now, at last, they were actually there themselves. For the last couple of weeks, they've been on pins and needles for this day to occur. Even if Ushi Diesel doesn't have such red hair, and Gayenzi isn't quite as strong as Go, and despite some minor mistakes, this fan club fell in love with a 33-year-old. Yes, I saw them on top of the hill as I came into the shooting range. I saw the posters. I was very pleased. They had already started this at the airport. It is really cool. <laughs> on the shooting range, the preparation was well worth it, and the 11-year-olds understood what really counts. She'll be in the top three for sure. She had no penalty loops, I think. In general, she did really well. Ushi Diesel, in the finish, the winner. Thanks them afterwards for their support. The founder of the fan club, teacher Cheryl, receives her reward. Die Gründerin des Fanclubs, Lehrerin Cheryl, wird belohnt. We are having a wonderful day. The stadium is full of cheering children. They are ringing bells and they are all having a wonderful, wonderful time. And at the end, we are still anticipating Ushi's new hairstyle. Well, the hairstyle is not quite as shown, since I know there's something quite different under your hat. You have to be pretty lucky, right, Ushi? The class picks you as their athlete, and then yesterday you win. That was, of course, a great day for them. But did you notice them all standing on the trail and in the stadium? Yes, I certainly did notice them. You hear them naturally. It was incredible. I was totally surprised, actually. It is quite touching how they painted and put up all those signs, and one really has to admit that the enthusiasm over here is really, really great. What else, for example, have you experienced? It is unbelievable considering when you see in other World Cup locations you are just greeted with applause, while here at the stadium is jam-packed. And they are so enthusiastic. It is almost embarrassing all that they are doing for us here. They are anticipating our every possible wish. When you need to go someplace, there is already a van waiting at the door, and it goes even if you are the only person. It doesn't wait around, and the shuttle service is simply perfect. They have tried, I mean, a small town has only a limited amount of possibilities to offer, and they have made full use of everything. We have all been swept off our feet here. So the best advertising is from personal testimony. 500 volunteers are engaged to offer the best service to the athletes, journalists, and everyone surrounding this event.